Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you are new. For those of you that are new, my name is Anna and this is At Home with Anna. So today is part one of two parts of getting my the front of my home ready for harvest season and the fall. So I've selected a theme this year and the theme of my outdoor decor is going to be bountiful harvest. I think that it's important that you select a theme because it helps keep everything super cohesive on the outside. So I have been shopping and adding to my cart on Amazon and making sure that everything was cohesive in the way I wanted it. Um, you know as far as decor goes but the gardens are different so um we're going to be pulling out all of my petunias today and we're going to be replacing those with some fall annuals and um, a couple of other things around the fountain and we also are going to be planting our fall pots that's a lot of work so that is why we're doing it in two parts so Part one is going to be the gardens and the my um, fall pots, and then part two is going to be adding all of the cozy vibes on the outside of the house. So let me show you what I picked up to put in the garden. Okay, we're just going to start right here on the porch. I got is I got 15 mums, and I got the ones that have the least amount of blooms. Um, some of them are blooming already a little bit. But I brought them home yesterday and um, I put them directly and submerged them in water for an hour so that they could soak everything up. But um, they are so beautiful and lush. I'm loving them. These were only $6.97 at Lowe's, which I think is a great price for this size mum. And exactly the vision that I have. So I got them all in one color. That is what I wanted. And then I went ahead and picked up the little tiny ones, which are $3.97 and they're in yellow. And I got eight or 10 of these, sorry, 10 of these. And I'm going to be adding them around the tree here. So these will be in my swoop, as many as I can fit in there, because I want it to be just jam packed. I got four orange echinacea and I can't remember what these are called but I'll put the name up on the screen for you guys um, but I got two of those so we're going to be putting them on either side of the bird bath and then I want to put the echinacea in the front so that we have some nice fall interest, interest right here and if I have any croton petra what does it say on the orange thing? Interesting. Yeah, see right here. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So those are called croton. So we're going to. Whoop, those are called croton. So we're going to be placing those there and the echinacea in the front. And then starting here is where I will do all of the mums. For the garden. If I have any leftover mums um, from my swoop, then I will add them over in this area too. So that is what I'm going to be planting in here. And I'm going to get these planted up. These three. These two pots will also get something in them. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what, but we'll have to see <laughs> what I come up with. So I think I'm just going to set the camera up and let you guys watch me transform this into some fall beautifulness and um, we'll take a look at it after.
feet on the stripes in the Alabama highway. Out there in the open, just a wishing and a hoping. I could smell the pines when I let you in the doorway. Took the seat next to mine like you've been
That's sure something I could use A cure for the air condition Could you use some too? guys it is the next day I had to stop because we had to go to Lowe's so I could get some more plants and we had football games so it's the next day and today is the day that I'm going to be decorating the whole outdoors which you guys will see in the next video but today I got to finish getting these pots done I need to get them planted and I bought some more mums that I need to get in the ground um, so we're going to go ahead and take care of that and when I'm done then I will give you guys a tour and show you everything that we planted
side we sway there in all the colors some Okay, you guys, here is a look at the finished fall garden. I think that it looks so beautiful. Now, I did plant that mum over there, but this one I'm going to use on the porch so I didn't get it planted. Um, I want, because the bougainvillea is already filling back in again. They love it here, I'm telling you. They love, love, love. So I'm going to let that bougainvillea fill in that area um, and just finish living its life um, there. So I'm going to plant that one uh, in a pot for the front porch. That'll be in the next video. But look how beautiful all the color looks in here. Those mums are a different color. They're like the burgundy. So that's going to be beautiful up there. Um, I'm mumming it out. I think that should be the, um, <laughs> the theme of my, of my um, video is mums. Mum planting. So these look beautiful. The pots came out gorgeous. So I wasn't really sure. I was having a hard time in the store with what I wanted to do in here. <clears throat> so I went ahead and bought the instant pot <laughs> of plants because I loved these. this combination. This is gorgeous, this coleus. I can't. It's beautiful. Um, I mean, I almost <laughs> wanted to pull those out and replace them with that but those are beautiful for fall interest too and you can see they're already coming back <laughs> they just love it here so anyways these are the three pots for my fall interest and I added two more mums on this side because Ernie and I agreed this little area needed something and I'm fully aware that once mums are done blooming they're done blooming but I did do the trick of um, soaking them for an hour um, 
when I got them home to make sure they were really wet and I'm keeping them watered so that should help but um, I'm loving I'm loving them so I don't even care and that was one of the things that I wanted when I moved here was I said um, that I was gonna have mums everywhere because <laughs> they don't live in California at least where I lived so anyways planted two in here they look beautiful and yeah everything is looking really good and then I you see I planted the um, yellow mums around the maple right here and I did not these were planted later these petunias were planted later than the ones I pulled out so these guys are still doing really good so I'm gonna let them continue to do what they want to do and if and when they start to show signs of um, you know they need to come out um, then I will find like an orange pansy hopefully and replace it but for now I think this just looks beautiful because these are the yellow mini mums so I think once this donut of mums fills in it's gonna be gorgeous here so anyways that is the fall garden and the interest from the street is just gorgeous it's beautiful you guys ah oh, okay okay it is i am a hot mess express right now <sighs> sweaty and it's like 70 degrees so i have no reason to be sweaty but anyways that's gonna do it i hope you guys enjoyed i'm still gonna be doing some planting i didn't see any pansies at home depot or at lowe's um but i'm guessing either this week or next weekend they'll be getting a more you know more of different things in and once they do that i plan on planting orange pansies around my topiaries so um, we'll do that together in another video but for now i want to end this video because i am decking this house out for fall you guys are going to love it i hope i am so excited my vision is going to come to life so i cannot wait for you guys to see it my glasses are fogging up so it's time to say goodbye <laughs> and we will see you guys in the next video bye